Today in the news, we have some news from Apple, AMD, and Undertale. Is your boot sequence. Apple had an event yesterday and we got a lot of updates to the old and the new. Let's start with the iPad Pro. Just as the leaks suggested, the iPad Pro was gifted with the no-nonsense USB-C port. Finally! What is interesting about that is that the specs for this port isn't the same as the one on the MacBooks. While the MacBooks have a Thunderbolt connection, this is a USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 connection which allows for up to 10 gigabit transfer speeds. The frame is super thin now and it has those square edges, kind of like the iPhone 5s. It looks good, but it also looks like it could be fragile. Both models got a huge bump in screen size and a small bump in resolution thanks to the removal of the home button allowing it to fit a bigger screen and the same overall size. We now have an 11 inch and a 12.9 inch display instead of a 9.7 and 10.5. The bezels are pretty thick but I think that they're reasonably sized. They also allow for all of the Face ID tech to be baked into it without the use of a notch. Thank God. Besides that, a few more changes are of note like the upgrade to the A12X Bionic chip, the second gen Apple Pencil, a new 1TB model, and the removal of the headphone jack. RIP headphone jack. Then we have the new MacBook Air and finally it has been redesigned after years of small refreshes. It has a 13.3 inch retina display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. It also gets Touch ID, an upgraded trackpad, and a Thunderbolt like its more expensive brothers. Moving on to the Mac Mini, it finally makes more sense. With 4 and 6 core variants, this little desktop will definitely find more buyers. It can have up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and features a much more up-to-date I.O. layout. As with any Apple products, you're going to pay a premium, but if you were in the market for a new iPad, Mac, or MacBook, now is the time to buy it. Alright, now let's talk AMD for a second. We heard a few months ago that 7 nanometer Vega GPUs would be early and that we would see them in Q4 of this year. Well, we will. Some MacBooks will ship with Vega 16 and Vega 20 this November. I highly doubt that the official desktop GPUs with the Vega branding will appear this year since according to a source that spoke with Gamers Nexus, the Radeon Instinct line will make its first appearance at the end of Q1 in 2019. The timeline keeps shifting Thing, but it's small and it's not going to be a big delay anyways. Moving on to some gaming news, the official Undertale Twitter account has been sending us some cryptic messages. The account blacked out its username and profile picture and has been tweeting in unsettling caps. This definitely feels like an ARG for something big. The account asks us to come back to the Twitter feed in 24 hours, probably for a reveal or the next clue to what could be an interesting game. This is probably an announcement for Undertale 2, I mean if it was a different game or something else, we might have seen it from the developer itself, Toby Fox. I just realized that whatever it is, it will be announced on Halloween. I just realized today is Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. Also in gaming, Project Atlas was revealed by EA. Now this is something different. It's basically a sort of game engine that feeds off of AI, cloud computing, and social capabilities. It is explained in depth in the lengthy medium post linked down below. It is so in depth that I have trouble understanding how its deeper layers could work. EA says that they have more than a thousand people working on this next gen project and that they will provide us with regular updates about the project going forward. Today the Apple news kind of drowned everything else so that is pretty much it for this boot sequence. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. You can click right here for the latest video. As always, stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one.